Sunday, June 18th, 2023. A state-of-the-art submarine named Titan, owned by OceanGate Expeditions, vanished without a trace while on an exploration to probe the depths and uncover the secrets of the infamous Titanic ship wreckage. On board the submarine was OceanGate's CEO, Stockton Rush, Shahzada Dawood, a Pakistani billionaire and a member of one of the richest families in Pakistan. He was there with his son, Suleiman Dawood. Also aboard was Hamish Harding, a British businessman and chairman of Action Aviation, a company that sells aircraft to high-profile clients. Lastly, Paul Henri Narjolet, a French diver and member of the Explorers Club, a century-old exploration group whose members have included Sir Edmund Hillary and Amelia Earhart. The voyage that began off the coast of St. John's Newfoundland in Canada turned into a haunting echo of the past when the Titan submarine lost contact with its support ship, the Polar Prince. With five souls on board and oxygen reserves for only three to four days, this would mark the tragic end of Titan's voyage that has caused a hailstorm of controversy. The incident has cast a shadow over the submarine's creator, Ocean Gate Expeditions, and raised questions that can't be silenced. The Marine Technology Society, a respected industry group of experts and policymakers, had expressed concerns even before the Titan expedition. They warned against Ocean Gate's experimental approach and raised serious concerns about the development of the Titan submarine. But this wasn't the first time the alarm had been sounded. Back in 2018, the sub's hull design, its ability to withstand the unforgiving pressures of the deep, was called into question by Ocean Gate's former director of marine operations, David Lockridge, prompting a lawsuit. But this tragic tale starts with deep sea tourism. The deep sea tourism industry is a relatively small one that only has a handful of companies performing expeditions. However, the global diving tourism market is expected to reach four and a half billion dollars by the end of 2023. From the heights of Everest to the depths of the Mariana Trench, there is a relentless human desire to explore the unexplored. A new frontier has emerged, catering to the daring, the curious, and the ultra wealthy. A voyage to the ghostly remains of the Titanic can set you back a quarter of a million dollars. And to spend a night in a luxury submarine hotel, that's going to run you a cool $300,000. Yet this rapidly growing industry finds itself navigating in uncharted waters with little oversight and only a few regulations in place to guarantee the safety of the explorers and to safeguard the fragile underwater ecosystems they visit. Meet Ocean Gate. This private company has been making waves in the realm of deep sea exploration since 2009 taking us where few dare to venture. Their flagship vessel, Titan, acts as a submersible ferry, taking adventurous tourists on a dive into history, all the way to the haunting wreckage of the Titanic. At the heart of the Ocean Gate saga stands David Lockridge, the former director of Ocean Gate's marine operations, a man who found himself in the eye of the storm. Lockridge was a vocal critic of Titan's safety features. His concerns, detailed in a hard-hitting quality control report, were aimed at the foundation of the Titan, its pioneering carbon fiber hull. This report landed on the desks of Ocean Gate's top brass, including founder and CEO, Stockton Rush, who himself was aboard the ill-fated Titan vessel. However, Lockridge's warnings were met with a cold shoulder. In a 2018 lawsuit, Lockridge threw a spotlight on the alleged flaws, claiming the submersible was not built or tested to meet safety standards, potentially making every trip a dance with death. He also claimed passengers were kept in the dark about the experimental window design, inadequate safety testing, and the use of hazardous flammable materials. But instead of heeding his warnings, OceanGate showed him the door. So far, all of this points to the serious lack of regulation in deep sea tourism, a high-stakes game raising ethical concerns over passenger safety and the preservation of the undersea environment. Stockton Rush, founder and chief executive officer of OceanGate, a company he established in 2009, was a man with a vision. OceanGate made headlines in the world of deep-sea exploration, giving mankind a fresh perspective on historic underwater wreck sites like the Titanic and Bismarck. But such daring adventure comes with serious risks, risks that were ignored. Stockton Rush is a vocal critic of industry regulations. He argues that they hinder innovation and growth, with Rush facing allegations of misleading customers about the safety of the experimental submersible and flouting professional codes of conduct. Undeterred, Rush admitted to breaking some rules in designing the Titan, sparking further questions when the tragic news of its fate broke. However, despite the controversies, Rush was painted by Ocean Gate Expedition's co-founder as a diligent engineer devoted to the exploration and preservation of the oceans. Friday, June 23, 2023. Devastating news emerged from the deep sea. Ocean Gate released an official statement saying, We now believe that our CEO Stockton Rush, Shazada Dawood and his son Suleiman Dawood, Hamish Harding, and Paul Henry Narjolet have sadly been lost. These men were true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure, 
and a deep passion for exploring and protecting the world's oceans. The statement continued, Our hearts are with these five souls and every member of their families during this tragic time. We grieve the loss of life and joy they brought to everyone they knew. At the same time, the U.S. Coast Guard said in a Twitter post early on Thursday, June 22nd, that a remotely operated vehicle discovered a debris field within the search area for the Titan submersible. At a press conference later in the afternoon, the Coast Guard confirmed the debris was consistent with catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Upon this determination, we immediately notified the families. John Mauger, the first Coast Guard District Commander. On behalf of the United States Coast Guard and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families. I can only imagine what this has been like for them. The Titan submersible exploring the Titanic wreckage experienced a catastrophic implosion on Sunday, June 18th, 2023, killing all five passengers aboard. The U.S. Navy said they detected an acoustic anomaly, a sound consistent with an implosion. Shortly after the Titan lost surface contact, this tragedy raises ethical questions about the safety of tourists in this largely unregulated industry and its potential environmental impact. Let me know what you think about deep sea tourism and the situation below.